Did I get everything at the market, Garfield? Yeah, but not nearly enough of it. Bread, milk, butter, cheese, more cheese, more cheese, more cheese. To red to the knees, lizard soup, I of newt. I had to buy the frozen kind. You just can't get fresh I of newt these days. More cheese, more cheese, more cheese. Go! Oh. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cauldron. Mr. Arbuckle, imagine running into you here. Huh? You remember Mrs. Cauldron, the lady who lives over in Ackerman Lane? Oh, God. Oh. The witch. <laughs> this is my niece, Abigail. She's staying with me while she attends school. <laughs> nice to meet you, Abigail. Uh, there's no school around where you live. It's a special school. I heard about you, Mr. Arbuckle. And that's your cat that sleeps all day and eats everyone's lasagna. Guilty as charged. In fact, we have to get home so I can help Abigail with a lesson. Oh. Good day. I like Mrs. Cauldron. There are some neighbors who claim she's a witch, huh? but I know that's ridiculous. <laughs> Tell me about the enchanted book, Aunt Esther. Just as soon as we get home, dear. Will you do that laugh for me, Aunt? For you, anything. <laughs> Witches, what a silly idea. What a ridiculous... <laughs> A thousand years ago, there was a witch named Veracella who gave her own heart to black magic in exchange for greater power. <laughs> Consumed with hatred for the human race, the heartless Veracella searched for three legendary magical artifacts. They were the Mercury Slippers, the Broom of Sorrows, and the Lilith Wand. By combining their powers, Varicella could then unleash the Forbidden Moon, a deadly spell that would plunge the whole world into eternal darkness and turn all humans into helpless toads. <laughs> Varicella was so wicked that all the witches agreed. She had to be stopped before she could complete the spell. The witches banished Varicella into the pages of a magic spell book. My magic spell book. As for the three magical artifacts, they were scattered across the magic realm so that no one might ever bring them together again. Let me out of this book! That is why since that very day, there have been good witches and there have been wicked witches. Cool! Can Varicella ever break free from her prison? Only if someone was ever foolish enough to use the book's magic for their own selfish needs. Auntie, when I grow up, will I be a good witch or a wicked witch? Well, I hope you'll be the best possible good witch you can be. Now, I want to go bake some frog muffins. When can I learn how to cast some real magic spells? I want to become as powerful as Varicella. Oh, don't worry, Bruce. I'd never hurt you. You're my bat! Abigail, how many times do I have to tell you the strongest magic doesn't come from a wand? But from the heart, I know. Mm -hmm. ah. <gasps> <gasps>
Garfield, if you think you're going to eat this entire pizza by yourself, you're wrong. I'm right. <laughs> Good. Do you want to fetch a stick? <laughs> Go fetch it, boy. I know, I know. Even after three seasons, he still falls for it. Odie! Odie! Gee, if Odie doesn't show up for dinner, maybe you will have to eat his half of the pizza, Garfield. <sighs> I suppose I could. No, it's not fair. I won't serve dinner until Odie is at the table. I'm being forced to work entirely too hard for pizza. <laughs> not that pizza's not worth some effort, of course. I'm the most powerful witch of the whole magic realm. I'm... <laughs> the choice for me is what to be. I have to choose my fate. Oh. A good and trusted witch, but maybe I should switch. Oh. For years I've always understood oh. that bad is not as good. Oh. It's tempting to be devious Instead of just as previous To use my magic to destroy Is something that I could enjoy I could be someone to be cheered Or someone who was feared So which which will I be? The choice is up to me I'll get grounded if I turn up to school without my familiar. Abigail, oh. what's all that racket? You ready in a second, Annie? Oh. Zing, zang, zoom! I have to get Bruce back. Bruce, please come back. I'll give you treats. <laughs> telling you this. You just saw it, too. Oh, perfect. No one will ever know the difference. Eeny, meeny, miny, <laughs> Abigail, time to leave for school. <sighs> Here I am, Auntie. Half a new room, my dear. We can't waste time. <laughs> Cauldron is a real witch? I should have figured it out in season two. Only a real witch could have survived a whole episode with Minerva and Drusilla. Why can't I find that transportation spell? I know where everything is. Ah! Evermore! Oh, there it is. Both trivia, her terrors, rather fairy. Now remember, listen to your cousin Winona. I will! And I'll try to be a good witch, Annie Esther! Bye! Odie, oh, 
is my fault for trying to get his half of the pizza. That book, it must have the secret of how to change him back. Ouch! I have to go check out my frog muffins. They're not for you, Raven. You eat bird seeds. Nevermore! There are thousands of spells in here. How am I going to find the one that Mrs. Cauldron just used to send her niece off to school? I believe you'll find that spell you're looking for on page 658. Oh, thanks. Did you just say that? Nevermore! Oh, that's right. You're a raven. You just say nevermore. Who's talking? Just a friend. <laughs> Here, let me help you. <laughs> Thanks, whoever you are. Whatever you are. All right, let's see here. One way trip to the school of witchery and witchcraft. That's the one. You remember Mrs. Cauldron, the witch. This is my niece, Abigail. A thousand years ago, there was a witch named Veracella who gave her own heart to black magic, which has banished Veracella into my magic spell book. I want to become as powerful as Veracella. <laughs> Where is that pooch? He meany my Grab hold of a broomstick before speaking the following magic words. Spokescribia, Cryptaris, Gapisphiris. It doesn't seem to be working. It isn't Dapisphiris, it's Rapisphiris. Dad, what are you doing in here? Spokes Cryptia, Cryptaris, Rapis Ferris. My magic book! No one steals my magic book! Buckle up, Raven! It's going to be a bumpy ride! <laughs> You know, this is actually kind of fun once you get the hang of it. <laughs> Except for that part, and maybe the crashing the earth part. Sorry to borrow your book, but I need it. My friend Odie's gone batty on me. <laughs> Where's the gas pedal on this thing? Harry, I really need to shake that angry witch. I just happen to know the perfect spell. Allow me. Boobala boo, bleep, bumba boo. Well, that sounds like something John made for dinner one night. Hey. No! That's Garfield one, Mrs. Cauldron nothing. steals my magic book and leaves us stranded in this magic bubble. And all you can say is, never more. What's wrong with you? My shrink says I have abandonment issues. For 1,000 years, this magic book has been under my protection. If someone were to use its magic for their own selfish needs, she would get out. The world would be never more. Ah! 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 Ah!
School of Witchery and Witchcraft. That's where Mrs. Cauldron's niece took Odie right after turning him into a bat. Either a witch is having a barbecue nearby, or my broomstick's on fire! <laughs> Don't you dare burn that book! Don't. Sorry, but this is an emergency. Now would be an appropriate time to panic. Use one of the spells, you idiot! Sorry, lady, whatever you are, but it's too late to play Hocus Pocus. Please note, I'm doing all of my own stunts for this show. We don't use any of those cheap CGI effects. Whoa! You're gonna get us both killed! Yeah! <laughs> oh. <sighs> safe. <laughs> Not safe. Odie? Odie? Where are you? Knock on every door, hoping you'll get lucky. Yeah, book lady, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Unless you have a better idea. Whoa. <laughs> Piss! All you have to do is wish for it out loud. Help me find Odie. Thanks, I think. Oh. Odie, where are you? Odie! Huh? What are you staring at? Aren't you a little too fat to be a familiar? Zip it, all of you! I'm trying to find my dog. Uh, my bat! Hody! Oh, let me get you out of here. Hold your tongue, Puff. I'm trying to get you out of here. Of course you recognize her. That's Mrs. Cauldron's other niece, Winona. She's the one who wanted to marry John. Huh? And no, I think that was in season three. Hey, if a witch you want to be, you must learn some things from me. How to make the ugly cute, where to purchase Eye of Newt. How to learn the witch's code, how to make a prince a toad. How to change the temperature, how to make a magic cure, <laughs> well for sure. If you want a life of riches, cackling like the other witches, you will fly like all the birds, if you know the magic words! Get your magic wands out, then each of you go retrieve your familiar. Yes, Miss Winona. Huh? Hey, what are you doing here? I'd be happy to tell you if you could understand what I say. Each of you, you're going to turn your familiar into a teacup. <gasps> Miss Winona, is that for extra credit? Yes, Hermione. You all have three minutes. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Fine. Let's see how long it 
you can keep this up once I've changed you into a teacup. <laughs> oh, I never really cared much for tea. How about you turn me into a lasagna so I can eat myself silly? Razzle, razzle, ring! Look! Abigail turned her familiar into a mule! <laughs> uh, I feel... Uh, different and uh, rather stubborn. Oh, I did that wrong. Silence! Two minutes left. I believe the spell you're looking for is on page 53. Be cheating? Okay. Sippity <gasps> sings. <laughs> Time's up. Wands down, ladies. Aww. Huh. <gasps> Excellent work, Abigail. I am giving you an A. A? I've never gotten an A before. <gasps> <gasps> now that I'm an accomplished witch, let's try something a little bigger. Zippity zing. that come out of me? <gasps> Abigail, what part of put your wand down did you not understand? I told you. Zippity zang. Put your wand down. <laughs> oh, right. First, put him back the way he was. Ish kebabble. Yippee. <sighs> I'm me again, and I weigh less. Disappointed in you, Abigail, both as my student and my cousin. I'm sorry, Winona. I didn't mean to. You're gonna stay after class and write 50 times. I will not use magic carelessly. And then I want you to clean up all this mess without resorting to any magic. Yes, Winona. <laughs> oh. No. You remember Mrs. Cauldron, the witch. A thousand years ago, witches banished Vera Sarah into my magic spell book. Sorry to borrow your book, but I need it. The School of Witchery and Witchcraft. That's where Mrs. Cauldron's niece took Odie. How about you turn me into lasagna so I can eat myself silly? Sippity zing. You're gonna stay after class and write 50 times, I will not use magic carelessly. How much longer is this going to take? Almost done, ma'am. I must get to the school of witchery and witchcraft. The fate of the world depends on it. I will not use magic carelessly. I will not use magic carelessly. Oh, there. That was the last one. Great. Now you can use your wand to debat Odie so we can finally go home. Hello. I'm talking to you. Yes, you, yo. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you, Cat? Ahem. <clears throat> Wait, there's a spell for this. Hey, do me a favor. If she turns me into anything degrading, turn off the TV. Blah, 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 talk a tick tock? <laughs> Bon ami, je suis toujours un chat. Oh! Oh, wait, it's not talk a tick tock, it's talk a tick tock. La burrita, mi esta volvinito loco. Oh, now I remember. It's talk a tick tock. Oh, can you hear me? One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> it worked! I can understand you. You can? <laughs> Good! Then listen up. You gotta turn Odie back into a dog. 
He needs to be romping about, barking and fetching sticks, not hanging upside down in a cave. I didn't mean to cause all this trouble. When my bat escaped, I didn't know what to do. I try to be a good witch, but I always get my spells all mixed up. And that's why I don't have any friends. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you too, Odie. Huh? I'm fine. Just go. <laughs> you heard her, Odie. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. The pizza John made will be cold by now. <laughs> Maybe we can get him to make 12 fresh ones. Rescue from Magic Bubble completed. Please sign here and initial here. Sorry, but this is an end of the world emergency. Wouldn't that be easier with a little magic? Thanks, but I can't. I promised my aunt I'd try to be a good witch. <laughs> Odie, I said cut it out. This is none of our business. Let's just find another flying broomstick and get out of here. Huh? Oh. <sighs> okay, so maybe I was a little harsh with the kid. Maybe I should go back and talk to her. You are not going anywhere until you give me back my book. <laughs> you left it with your niece, Abigail. Please, tell me you did not use its magic for your own selfish needs. Me? Do something selfish? Of course not. Well, I would have, but there wasn't time. Good. Now we must stop Abigail from doing that. Take me to her. <laughs> One selfish act, and it will release Vericella from her prison in the book. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's not fair! Being good is overrated. Maybe you were meant for something different, Abigail. Something bigger. You're that witch Annie Esther told me the story about, aren't you? The one they trapped in the book so she couldn't cast a spell on the world? Oh, well, sort of. But there are two sides to every story. Abigail, wait. Don't you want people to fear you, respect well, you? I suppose. Give me a chance to talk to you. Just the two of us. I have great wisdom to impart. Unless... You'd rather spend your life writing on the blackboard or scrubbing the floor. Wait, I want to hear more. How do I do this? All you have to do is wish for it out loud. Wish for me to be free. Abigail, wish for me to be free, and I'll tell you all. I wish you to be free. Abigail! I'm not sure what just happened, but I know it's not good. I'm free! Free from the prison of that dusty old book! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my evil cackle is a little stale. It's been a while, hasn't it, sis? Sis? Like in sister? Wait, this means Vericella is also my aunt? You never told her I was your sister? I spent a thousand years trying to forget it. Let's get out of here before it gets any uglier. Yes, she's my sister. We share the name and also matching rockets forged from the love of our parents. I don't suppose you kept your heart, Varicella. I got rid of mine more than a thousand years ago. Yes, I suppose you did. 
<gasps> Who let Aunt Rosala out of the buck? I'm afraid it was me. Well, this is a lovely family reunion. But if you'll excuse me, there's some unfinished business I must tend to. Like Ooh. this! <laughs> Nice to see that after a thousand years. I haven't lost my touch. You monster. I once trapped you into that magic book. And I can do it again. Not if you're a crystal statue. No! <gasps> Abigail, remember, the strongest magic doesn't come from a wand. Never look. <laughs> That's Mrs. Cauldron's locket. Annie Esther! What did she mean about the strongest magic? Doesn't come from a wand. It comes from the heart. The heart? Please! I lost my to black magic long ago, and I've never felt better. Here, you hold on to it till we get her back. Assuming we ever do. I've got to stop you! This is a good place for us not to be. Hey, wait for me. Give it to me, you little piss. I don't like these longer episodes. Too much <laughs> running. I'll get you, Abigail. And your little cat and dog, too. <laughs> you see, this is what happens when you spend half of eternity trapped inside a moldy old book. Are you sure she's not following us? Positive, or else we'd already be munching on flies like Winona. Hey, these are bad. What are we going to do? What is this we? I don't want any part of this witch war. Come on, Odie, we're going home. Garfield, if we don't stop her, there won't be any home for you to go back to. She's right. If Arisola unleashes the Forbidden Moon, the world will be plunged into eternal darkness, and every mortal will be turned into, well, this. Kid's got a point. Garfield, dinner's ready. <laughs> I've made your favorite. Fly lasagna. <laughs> okay, you got me. How do we stop her? In Auntie Esther's story, Veracella needed three magical items to complete the spell. First, there's the Broom of Sorrow. It can travel magically to any place you can think of. Then, there's the Mercury Slippers. Whomever wears them is immune to magic. And that's the Lilith Wand the most powerful artifact in the entire magic wow. realm. Let's find those trinkets before Varicella gets her grubby hands on them. Here's a map. According to this, the Broom of Sorrow is hidden deep in the gnarly forest. That's about an hour's walk from here. Do they have cabs around here? <sighs> I think we're gonna have to walk. Or in my case, hop. <sighs> walk, I hate these longer episodes. <sighs> this must be the gnarly florist. Well named. Let's find this magic broomstick and get out of here. What now? I just remembered. Witches aren't welcome here. Well, this is where wood comes from to make flying broomsticks. And since witches are always cutting down trees, the remaining trees view us as enemies. Duh. Trees? Huh? <laughs> what can trees do to you? This. 
After you, Odie got turned into a bat and taken away by Mrs. Cauldron's niece and the School of Witchery and Witchcraft. You are not going anywhere until you give me back my book. You're that witch Annie Esther told me the story about, aren't you? The one they trapped in the book so she couldn't cast a spell on the world? I'm free! Who let Aunt Versala out of the book? I'm afraid it was me. In Auntie Esther's story, Vericella needed three magical items to complete the spell. Let's find those trinkets before Vericella gets her grubby hands on them. Well, that's that. Who in their right mind would agree to climb all the way up that giant tree? <laughs> Anyone want to give me a boost? I can't believe I let them talk me into this. The things I'll do to avoid eating fly lasagna. Not good. Not good at all. Starfield! Starfield, help me! Abigail's in trouble. I have to do something. Never mind Abigail right now. I'm in trouble! Something heroic once a year. This is it for a while. Where do we go next? To the underworld. That's where we'll find the Mercury Slippers. Oh. <laughs> One artifact, two to go. I'll just wait for these fools to do all the dirty work and then I'll help myself to what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea where we are? The Broom of Sorrow knows the way. <gasps> so what are we waiting for? Let's grab the slippers and swing by Vito's for cannolis on the way back. There's a slight complication. We need a magic spell to get us through this door. Well then, cast one, and let's get in and out of this place. I can't. I'm a frog, remember? <sighs> Abigail will have to do it. I'm not a real witch yet. Every spell I've cast has only made things worse. I believe in you, Abigail. Odie believes in you too. So do I. I'm not sure why, but I do. I'll try. Zibbity zack, zibbity zack, ringala ringala loof loof loof. Oh, I'll never be a good witch. I couldn't even be a bad witch. I should turn in my wand. Hey, you're a better witch than you think, kid. 
follow me into the underworld. Walk this way. You mean, hop this way. Especially towards the end. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You can't be just <laughs> passing through. <laughs> Once you enter the underworld, you'll never leave. <laughs> Perfect ghost. This should be uppermost. <laughs> you need to shriek. Practice every week. Just learn to moan, making unearthly groan. An eerie noise frightens girls and boys. <laughs> to see them run is so much fun. <laughs> And so, to sneak up and yell, boom, is still a thing to do. <laughs> I make the doors creak, make skeletons speak, to rattle some chains does not require brains. So what do you fear? I'll make sure it is here. I enjoy the fear and fright, scaring people left and right. I could do this every night. <laughs> To sneak up and yell, boom, boom, is still the thing to do. You might think it's me, the meanest thing you've ever seen, but thanks to my routine, it's day is Halloween. Once you enter the underworld, you never, ever leave, huh? And just when were you planning on telling us this? Uh, one worry at a time. Let's focus on finding the Mercury Slippers. The Mercury Slippers? You want the Mercury Slippers? Can't we show you something in a nice pair of sandals? If you want the Mercury Slippers, you must prove yourselves worthy. You must pass a test. A high test. A test of bravery. A test of bravery? Well, I'm out of here. You must pass the test. You must overcome your deepest fears. Why me? Why not one of them? It says right here, the test shall be of he with the greatest body weight. Where does it say that? <sighs> Well, as long as it's in writing. The idol of Id here will probe your memory for your deepest fears. It will huh? show them to you, and if you can face them down, you may take home the Mercury Slippers. And if you fail, we have some lovely parting gifts for you. Except that you won't be parting. You'll be staying here for all eternity. Let's play! <laughs> Here is what the idol sees you fear most in the world. 
Garfield, the TV set is broken. <laughs> Drusilla and Minerva are here to visit. <laughs> From now on, I'm only serving health food. Want some tofu? <laughs> There's a spider here. Oh no, it's two spiders. <laughs> oh, it isn't two spiders, it's 23 spiders. <laughs> Aunt Ivy's outside with an awful lot of luggage. <laughs> Garfield, it's Monday. <laughs> Nermal is moving in to live with us forever. <laughs> didn't win. But you'll enjoy it here forever. Hey, being afraid of some things is just common sense. Everyone's afraid of something. Not us. We're ghosts. Nothing scares us. Even we don't scare us. Oh, yeah? Well, if I could scare you, would you let us go and give us the mercury slippers? It's a deal. Now that you're getting good at spells, could you conjure up something for me? Well, I'll try. What is it? Well, I was trying to make a double super size. Okay, uh, here goes. Round four! Round four! <laughs> here, today's newspaper. Read it and see what it says is going on in my world. It'll all happen here eventually. What's so scary about that? It's just a newspaper. War, economic collapse, anger, taxes, weather. What's on TV this week? Our leaders. Wait, we had a deal. You promised us the mercury slippers. Uh, they're right over there, on those feet. Huh? <laughs> Now we have the broom of sorrow and the mercury slippers. Uh -huh. Wait, hold the phone. Where's the broom of sorrow? Oh! And where are the mercury slippers? I'm afraid they're over there. Oh. And don't they look wonderful on me? <laughs> <laughs> Who let Aunt Rosala out of the box? Well, if I could scare you, would you let us go and give us the mercury slippers? Thanks for doing the hard work for me. Now all I need is the Lilith one and the world is mine! <laughs> uh, we've got to get to the wand before she does. Well, let's hop to it. Uh, nothing personal. We need a spell to take us to the Hall of Witchdom. Here it is! Hey! Mer, mer, break, break a flash! <laughs> Getting the hang of this witch business. Soon, they always save the big expensive set for the finale. So, just what is this place again? This is the Hall of Witchdom, the place where the most powerful artifacts are stored. The Lilith Wand is somewhere within its thousands of corridors. <laughs> Or she does, but how? If that wand once belonged to Varicella, then it must still carry her yuck, distinct body odor. Odie's pretty good at tracking down nasty smells. Odie, 
Did you get a whiff of varicella back there? Can you find that smell and lead us to her wand? Wow, this is worse than finding your way back to your car at the mall. This is it, boy. In here. It worked. He followed Varicella's scent to the Lilith one. No, he followed Varicella's scent to Varicella. Thanks mostly to you. I have the broom of sorrow. I have the mercury slippers. And having followed you here, I have the Lilith one, which means I have everything. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. And you remember what happened to her. This is my fault. Don't blame yourself, Abigail. Who can we blame if we don't blame me? Hey, I know this cat named Normal who's handy for that. At last, after all these centuries, I call the Forbidden Moon! <laughs> I can just imagine what it's like on Earth right now. <laughs> yes! Now at last my dream can explode. I turned you into a frog, or maybe a toad. There is no place to hide or retreat. I get my revenge, and revenge is sweet. Trapped there inside the book, planning to change the look of the world we knew. As I dreamed, I'll do. Soon you will stop and stare. Frog people everywhere. Tell each gal in each film your new queen's very self. So roll my jolly friend, time for your world to end now Before the rich that you'll win now and forever So roll my jolly friend, time for your world to end now Before the rich that you'll win now So roll my jolly friend, time for your world to end How to save the world? Nothing. There's nothing. There's no weapon stronger than the Lilith wand. Stronger than the wand. What was the last thing Mrs. Cauldron said right before she was turned into a statue? The strongest magic doesn't come from a wand, but from the heart. The locket. The locket Aunt Esther wore, the one Varicella threw away. The one forged from the love of their parents? Where is it? Yes. Odie, Odie, you've been guarding it all this time. Right. Oh. <laughs> what do you think that is? A weapon? Huh. It's not a weapon. It's a replacement part. Uh -oh. To replace the one you lost a thousand years ago. <gasps> ah! What have you done, child? What have you done? <laughs> what have I done? A much needed bit of surgery. You you've made me you made me whole again. Thank you. I must undo the damage I have done. <gasps> Whoa! 
Oh, my goodness, what happened? Whatever it is, I don't want it to happen again. Nevermore! Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me, the world? Would you mind saving the world now? Of course. The world. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Garfield must have had something to do with it. You did it, Abigail. You saved the world. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Especially you, Garfield. How can I ever thank you? You could wrap this up. I haven't eaten in this entire story. We can't wrap it up yet. We must celebrate Abigail before the Grand Council of Witches. Will there be refreshments? Plenty of them. Then let the celebration begin. The whole world is as it was before. We have wiped the memories of all on Earth. No one will recall those unfortunate moments when they were all turned into frogs. Yeah, big, fat, hairy deal. Most people on Earth can't remember where they left their car keys. Abigail, please step forward. Your actions violated almost every rule of the School of Witchery and Witchcraft. Worse, you unleashed a great evil and threatened all of mankind. However, you also saved all of mankind by learning the greatest lesson of all, that the heart is stronger than any magic. And so we confer on you the mantle of full-fledged witchery. Ah. You made your auntie so proud, Abigail. Evermore! Evermore! Evermore? I learned a new raven word. Look who's back. Bruce! My familiar is back! Oh, I missed you too, boy. And I missed you, sis. Although you were a good bookmark. I missed me as well, my sister. And now Abigail and I have like two aunts, for sure. This has all been grand, but uh, the pup and I need to get back. I will send them back. From now on, I use magic only for selfless reasons. Thank you, Garfield. <laughs> and you too, Odie. Thank you for everything. Are you ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Oh, and could you send us back to just after John made the pizza? Certainly! Bellini! Borini! Odie! <laughs> Barisal is no longer filled with hate now. We have a reason to celebrate. This is how the story ends. This is Cauldron and her sister's friend. Earthlings could have been enslaved. Abracadabra, their world is Glad you guys are enjoying your pizza. So, where have you been all day? 
I don't know. Hmm. I'm feeling kind of strange. I have a frog in my throat or something. Did you... I mean, did he just... Don't worry, Garfield. It'll wear off in about half an hour. Okay, thanks. 